Welcome to Discover Labyrinths with Lars Hallett. Today we are going to look at concentric circle labyrinths. So usually we draw classical labyrinths with the seed pattern, where you draw the seed and then connect the lines and dots. But you can also work your way backwards by drawing the lines first, or the circles, and then um, opening up the entrance and the turns. And so to do a three-circuit labyrinth, simply draw four concentric circles. Um, the center is slightly bigger than the paths, right? This is almost two path widths, and um, it could be three or four path widths. But in this case, it's about four, um, and then these are about two each. And um, we've got three circuits around a center. So once you have your circles, then basically you want to create the path that leads to the center. So here is our center and we want to balance on either side an entrance path and the entrance path only goes um, to the outer um, circuit so that there's a turn here. So it's three, it crosses three circuits on one side and only two circuits on the other and then by erasing these three lines you can see that we have our entrance to the center. Now we need the entrance to the labyrinth, and if this is coming in from the right-hand side, then we need the entrance to the labyrinth on the other side, over here on the left. And we just draw that by having two lines across, or a line across two circuits, and erasing these three, and then you have your entrance to the labyrinth. Now here is a dead end, right? So we need to make this opened up also for the 180 degree turns. And so I'm going to erase that and erase this to create those two 180 degree turns so that now you simply enter into the labyrinth, meander your way outward, and then all the way to the center. Now Let's try that again just to uh, review. We draw a sizable center. We draw three pathways around it. Three more concentric circles. We balance the entrance into the center and it can go the other direction. So if it only crosses two circuits there and three here, you know, then this will enter in from the left, and if you enter the center from the left, then you enter the labyrinth from the right. We draw our entrance to the labyrinth here next to it, and then we erase the two 180 degree turns, and there you have your three circuit concentric circle classical labyrinth. Now, this is a left handed, and this is a right-handed. Now, it doesn't have to stop there because you can add more circuits. So if you want to make a five-circuit classical concentric circle labyrinth, you simply draw six circles, again with a larger center. So there should be five paths around our center, one, two, three, four, five, right? Now we again are going to draw our entrance to the center. We're gonna balance it. It's only gonna come down, well, it can come all the way to the bottom here. But on this side, it's only gonna come down four circuits. So we have that turn, right? We're gonna erase these lines that cross the pathway. Now, if that is our entrance to the center on the right, then our entrance to the labyrinth is going to be on the left. And this time, oh, I'm already erasing. So we're going to draw these, this pathway here, right? Then we're going to erase these lines. I got ahead of myself. So now the entrance to the labyrinth is on the right. Now, here you see we have a little bit of a different conundrum. We have to add two more 
lines here. A pathway there and a pathway here. <clears throat> and then we're going to erase those three circuits and these three circuits. And then we're also going to have these 280 degree turns. So we're going to erase that turn and this turn and create our five circuit concentric classical labyrinth. Now, this is a little more tricky than the three circuit simply because um, you have to create two more paths parallel to these entrance paths, right? So there's the entrance path to the labyrinth, there's the entrance path to the center. Now we have to create one more pathway here and one more pathway here on either side and then have our 180 degree turns. But you can see that then this works as a five circuit classical labyrinth. Boom. Now let's try that again just to be sure we have it. All right, I'm gonna draw a circle and then Okay, we've got our five paths around the center. We're going to bring our entrance path all the way to the bottom on one side, and it's only gonna come four circuits down on the other. We're gonna erase those four circuits. Then we're gonna create the entrance to the labyrinth right next to it, and it's gonna come in four circuits, right? So now we have our entrance to the labyrinth, our entrance to the center, but we have to put in two more paths alongside these. And you can see, you know, there's four paths here higher up and four paths there lower down. So this next line is going to go up here. And then the next one's going to go down there. And the more you practice this, the more you'll just sense where those are. And then erase the 180 degree turns. Um, and there is our five circuit concentric classical labyrinth.